Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to use an amazing tool called Sharing Cart. This is in the blocks. I'll show you where it is. But it's only for teachers. Students cannot view this. So let's take a look at how it works. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Turn Editing On as the teacher or of course the manager. Wait a few seconds. Once that's up, it's red. Next, I'm going to go into my blocks. Open it up. Notice the blocks are either on the right or the left or somewhere else, depending on where the administrator had added it. So I scroll down until I get to S and the sharing cart, which is at the bottom. Click on that. Wait a few seconds until it comes up. Notice there's a sharing cart. Of course, you can move it to the left or keep it on the right, move it up or down, it's up to you. Next, I'm going to go to an activity now, or a resource. This is an activity, a resource called Recording. It's a link. I'm going to scroll down till I get to Copy. Click on the Copy, go to OK, and then another OK. It's going to take a little bit of time, so be patient. It will come up when it's ready. Of course, this depends on your connection and the Moodle connection. So again, patience is very important. Okay, so if you haven't given up, it should appear in the sharing card right here. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find where I want it. So it could be anywhere in any of these sections, or it could be in another course. So I'm going to put it in this section called August 3rd. Right now it's the recordings, not the webinars. I should change that. And then I'm going to click on it again. Notice where I click. I click on the download icon. So let's do that. And notice what happens. It'll always appear at the bottom of your section. So there it says copy here. Click on the copy here. When you hover your mouse over it, let me show you that, where it is. And then notice what happens. Again, be patient. This does work. Wait a few seconds until it comes up. It may take time depending on your connection. And there it is. Now you might want to move it up. I do. So this is how I move it up. Notice there's a cross here. You click on it and then move it up to where you want it. And that's where I want it. All right, next I'm going to go to another section here because I want it here as well. Go to the sharing cart, click on again the copy to course or download icon. It'll appear down here. Click on it to paste it as it says. Wait a few seconds until it comes up. Notice if you click on it twice because you're not patient, it'll appear twice. And then I'm going to move it up. You might want to keep it there, but in my case, I want to move it up. So I have moved it, but it went to the wrong place. So I'll keep doing it until I get it to the right place. Okay, it may take some time, as you can see in mine. And notice now it's here twice because I clicked twice. So I'm going to delete that. Don't worry if things happen like this. Okay, so there it is. Now, the students won't see this, of course. They won't see the sharing cart block, and they won't see um, anything else. Only you will see it. So let's go in as the student and see how the student sees it. Switch from the top right. Choose a role. Okay, I'm going to choose student. And, and this is what the student will see. Okay, this is the student's perspective. So I hope this has been of help. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them.